This is part two of updating our label editor software. So in the last video, I walked you through uninstalling the previous ver version of the software using the label editor download for the new one. Okay, so it's gonna prompt you to uninstall that old version. Okay, so if you didn't do that, go watch that video and then come back. So now we've already removed that and restarted our computer. So now we can go ahead and install our new system. Okay. So just a quick tip here. If you have your printer plugged into your computer, unplug it. Don't plug the printer into the computer until the install wizard tells you to. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I've already downloaded the software. So I'm going to go ahead and just launch that. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and hit the setup. And then again, the file that we want to run is going to say setup.exe or setup. And it's the application is the one that we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and it will begin to run for us. Okay. Wonderful. All right. So now you're going to see this first box. It's going to ask you if you want to install the application and driver or the driver only. Well, we need the program installed. So we're going to do application and driver. So we will go ahead and hit that. And then you're just going to follow the on screen prompts to continue along. So of course, we're going to agree to the license agreement. Wonderful. It's going to think now just like the uninstall. This is a two part process. So first it's going to install the program itself, the label editor software. Then it's going to pause and then we're going to install the printers. So just kind of keep in mind that it's going to be a two part and we have to make sure we complete both of them to work right. Okay. So again, just following these on screen prompts. Okay. Wonderful. Agree. And now it's going to think while this is installing the software, I'm going to get my printer ready. Perfect. Okay. So you can see that it has finished asking me if I want to create a, a desktop shortcut, which of course I do. And then I can hit finish. Now again, remember it's going to think for a minute and then it should auto start that second part of the install to do the actual printer. Sometimes it doesn't automatically start just based on your computer settings. So if you see that, just go ahead and double click on that setup file again, and it'll pick up right where it left off. And you can see my install now is asking me to select a printer. Okay, so this is the first step of the, the second part. So I'm going to use this drop down and I am going to select my printer, which is the LWPX 900. It says it right on the printer if you need help. Okay, LWPX 900, got it. And then I can go ahead and click next. All right, now, so you saw it thought for a real quick second, and now it's telling me now you can plug the computer in or the printer into your computer and turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, the other thing being, I'm going to have a mul multiple printers installed. I'm actually going to use a drive here so that my USB port doesn't get confused with multiple printers being installed. Okay. So I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to plug this in. You can see I've labeled my port with the printers that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and plug that in. And then we're just going to turn the printer on. Perfect. I could hear you. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it's going to give you that notification that it's, it's recognized the printer. And within just a few minutes or a few seconds, even it's going to bring you the, what I call the blue check of happiness, meaning you're good to go. We can hit finish and we're done. You've installed your printer and updated your software. Good job. Now go make some labels. That was updating the label editor software. If you have questions on the software printers or any of our other features that we have, please feel free to reach out to us. We are always here to help. Thanks and happy labeling.